Hey everybody, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleep channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So I'm going to be swapping out a battery on a Dell Latitude 5500 series. And this will be the same on most of your Dell laptops. So be sure and like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to the video. Let's check it out. Alright, so the tools that you're going to need for this project are going to be a number one Phillips screwdriver. Number one Phillips head screwdriver and something to pry apart the laptop case. Uh, I'm just going to use a little flathead screwdriver, but something where we can gently pry apart the plastic. So anybody that's got a laptop that all of a sudden your case starts to expand, that's a very telltale sign that your battery is expanding and you need to swap out your battery. So take a look at this Dell case. Right on the front there, you'll see where the plastic is starting to split apart. You can actually see the little wires in there. So the batteries that they send out on all Dell laptops and HP is the same way. After a few years where they sit on a docking station, they just get hot, they overheat, and the battery eventually will start to expand. And all the batteries have this bag around the battery and the bag will start to fill with gas and as it does so it expands and it pulls your case apart and that's when you know time to replace your battery so that's what we're going to do today so step one you want to verify that your laptop is turned off very important make sure it's completely shut down nothing going on there Turn it over. Step two, take your uh, Phillips screwdriver. You're gonna notice that you've got eight tiny screws on the back here. You wanna remove those screws. Let's speed this up for you so you don't have to suffer through. Step three, with all the screws taken out, you want to gently pry off the back cover and the battery's already done some of that work for you. Take your little pry device. In my case, I took a little flathead screwdriver. Gently lift up on the corners. You can hear it's popping off those little tabs. It'll kind of snap and crackle and pop a little bit. There we go. Just set your cover aside. And there your battery is exposed. You can see this battery is expanded. It's really bulging right here. And that is definitely the problem. That battery is shot. So step four, you want to remove the battery. And the battery is held in by two screws. There's one on the upper right and one on the center. And it's also got a little battery connector right here that you can just lift this connector up and then you can unplug it. It's got a little uh, handle here. You can lift it up and unplug the connector. And then we want to take out these two screws. The screws will come all the way out. In. And then you take off the battery connector right here. If you can see that, you just pull that straight up and that removes your battery connector and then your whole entire battery lifts right out. If you take a look at that, look how swollen that battery is. It's completely bulging, ready to explode. It's not actually gonna explode, but that thing is ready to be replaced. And that's why the laptop was splitting apart. And we run into this all the time uh, with Dells, with HPs, uh, some Lenovo's 
after sitting on like a docking station or anytime they overheat um, after two or three years the batteries just naturally will start to do this and then we have to swap them out so anyone that has their laptop opened up at this point this would be a great time to feel free to just blow it out with some canned air hit that fan Give it a good cleaning there. Step five, we wanna drop in our new battery. This is our 68 watt battery. So the back kinda of goes in first, it kinda of clips in there. clips under the main board right there and just drops right in. It does look like I need to pull, on this particular one, I do need to pull off the cable and swap the cable from the old battery over to the new battery. Not a big deal, you can just pull the cable Literally just pull out the connector. Take a little serial connector, pull it out of the one battery. Slide it into the other battery. only go in one way. You feed your cable through the bottom of the battery, pops right in. Make sure everything's flush. Everything's looking good. Drop your battery back in. Plug in your connector. Connector should be flush on the main board. Put in your screws. Make sure your battery is all flush. Everything looks really good. Next, you want to take your case or the back of the computer, pop that back on, and it literally just snaps right on. You just kind of press around all the edges, you'll hear it click. You know, put in all eight screws, screw them all the way down snug. One last look over, verify you've actually corrected the issue. Case is no longer split apart. Looking good, issues resolved. All right, final step, just power on your laptop, make sure that your new battery is working and installed properly. Laptop is coming on, that's a good sign. Don't see any smoke or blue flames, that's always good. You know you've done your job correctly.
and it's loading up. Okay, so that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe if this video is helpful. Also leave a comment. Check out these other videos I have going on. And I'll catch you guys later.